Throughout this video, we'll have a look at three of the hottest WooCommerce product table plugins that's actually useful. Let's get straight into it. So in no particular order, the first on our list is our very own product table plugins. And with this particular plugin, you can create all sorts of tables, right? To display the information in a more streamlined and user friendly manner. For example here, so again, nested columns, royalty free beats, we can quickly filter by artists and as you can see everything's happening instantly okay we can quickly add it to our cart okay and then go ahead and check out it's a similar thing for our parts store here okay we can filter by the make we can filter by the model and any other custom taxonomy that you want to include on your product table again here's a domain example and we can quickly search as well as you can see, everything's happening instantly. We can make an offer, right? So this is integrating our request a quote plugin directly into the product table. Let's have a quick look at the back end and then we'll move on to the next plugin on our list. OK, so we'll navigate over to AOV up and then product table. OK, and to get started, it's pretty straightforward. We just click add new table. We can give it a name. We can add information that we want to include on our table, for example, the product name, maybe the short description, maybe the weight, maybe reviews, the product image. And we can customize the heading as well. We can customize the width and we can add extra class for more custom styling, right? We can also add custom data. OK, so we can add a custom taxonomy or a particular post meta information. OK, we'll scroll down. We've got our bulk add to cart options. We've got our form control. For example, we can filter all products on this particular product table specific to a product category tag, recently purchased, stock status and so on. OK, as we scroll down further, we can customize the design. We can remove the heading, add our own custom colors, branding and so on. Performance settings, we can enable lazy load. We can limit the maximum number of products, enable caching and so on. OK, so what I like about this plugin is the numerous different customization options there is and how simply it is to actually get started and just the flexibility of use, right? So for example, we can allow customers to download the products and our product table. It integrates with our request a quote plugin, with our swatch plugin and so on. Okay. However, what I don't like so much is that if you got a massive catalog, like 10,000 products on your site, right? Then maybe it's not best for those types of store. Since we're sorting and filtering the products instantly, when you've got um, that large number of products, it does slow the site down. OK, so the next on our list is this product table plugin here by WC product table. OK, let's have a quick look at the demos. OK, so we've got filtering. It's somewhat instant, right? There is a bit of delay in loading, but it's it's quite good. OK, this is quite cool. So we can have it in this product list layout, which is really cool. We can do the same with the AOV or product table plugin as well. I like this plugin. OK, so let's have a quick look at the back end and then we'll move on to the next plugin. OK, so what's really cool about this plugin here is whilst we're getting started, we can start from a blank template or we can use one of their predefined layout. OK, let's start from a blank template. OK, so here we've got um, the query. So we get to decide what we want to include on our product table, right? It's quite a bit of pro features. <laughs> so if you do need extensive customization, maybe you do need to up for the pro version, right? Over the free version. But nevertheless, we can customize our columns. We can add new columns here. OK, we can control the margin, color, size and so on. OK, I think we can customize the tablet view and the phone columns as well. A learning curve, but I like the simplicity of it so far. This is most definitely one of my favorite plugins. All right. So now let's have a look at the third and final plugin on our list, which is this Wii product table plugin here. Let's have a quick look at the demo. So we can add various different content types to our product table, which is cool. Got customization options as well. Very nice. Now let's have a quick look at the back end. All right. So the first thing you want to do is navigate over to Woo product table, click add new, and then we get to configure our product table. OK, so we give it a name. And then when we scroll down to columns, we can go ahead and add our columns here. Uh, the layout of this is kind of complicated. Right. But once you get used to it, it's OK. OK, so for example, we can add the description to our column list. And here's a description here. We can rearrange it. 
Firstly, I'd prefer it if it was more horizontal than vertical, but those are minor issues. You can get over it. We've got the tablet view, mobile view, which is good. We've got the query, so we get to decide which product to include on our product table. Okay, so this is quite cool. If you go for the pro version, you do have the option to customize search filtering even further, right? So it will give you the option to search for the SKU code, for example, and maybe any custom meta field that you've got, you'll be able to search those as well. One thing to note, I'm not too sure about um, the WC product table plugin, how they handle the search, but with our product table plugin, we automatically search the custom fields that you include on your product table. So that's just something to consider as well. But overall, I like this plugin. It's one of the most complicated to get started with that I've reviewed so far. But once you get used to it, I guess it should be okay. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box.